everyone. Welcome, everybody. This is Amanda Rose from Archer Chapel. And guess who we have back? Mike Archer. How are you doing today? Hi, everybody. I am well. I had a great Easter. The weather finally broke in Seattle. We got into the 60s yesterday and today. And after we're finished here, I'm excited to go out and dink around in the yard and get some sun on my pasty looking face. So um, today we're in lesson six. And and what we're going to be talking about is now that you've done all of the asking the questions phase and you've got all the information you need, now what are you going to do with it? How, how do you get into an organized presentation so that they will buy what, what it is that they've told you they will buy? So before we get into that, Amanda, would you tell these wonderful people where they can find all this stuff? Of course. So wonderful people, you can go to the back office, go to the Travel Cafe, click on the Trainings tab. Mike Archer is featured right at the top. If you click on that, you're going to find his PDF. You can download all his recorded trainings, his contact information, and more. So go ahead and check that out today. Okay. So where you should be is on page 24. We're in lesson six. And this goes along with Jose's Wednesday trainings on the research, select, and follow-up. So hopefully you can see what Jose and I are doing is trying to integrate our training in a logical form that makes sense to what you guys are doing. So today, what we're going to be concentrating on is pages 24 and 25. So now you have the information um, from your client. You've sat down with them for you know however long it takes. And now you said, okay, I have all the information I need. I'm going to go back and make a presentation portfolio for you. And what I have done here is created a form. Actually, I didn't create this. Sales Training Institute created this. But it's really, really good. And there's a, there's a bunch of blank ones in the back. So remember, I told you, in addition to asking questions, one of the things that you want to do is you want to take copious notes. And there's, there's our form, this form right here, and then there's the one that Archer Travel gives you. And we'll talk about the Archer Travel form um, toward the end. So what we're talking about is features, benefits, and proofs. So at the very top on page 24, a feature is what your solution is. It's the hard and fast thing that you can see it. And this is, okay, you want to do this. This is what I want. This is what I'm presenting to you. The benefit is what it does. Let's see, that's the key. All right. And so this is, this is the form. This is the blank form. There's a bunch of them in the back. Now, what I want you to do, this can be, um, this is a general one. You can see that the model on page 25, the kind of target is an extended family. And the specific arrow that we're going to use is they want to have a reunion or a get together. <clears throat> now, when I was in yearbook sales, I had probably 25 or 30 of these already made out based on people that I had already talked to. Was I, am I in a big school? Am I in a small school? Am I in a big budget school? Am I in a small budget school? So my target would always change. And then so the arrow that I would use would change to fit that target. So your homework at the end of this is, is going to be a take something that you're totally familiar with, whether it's a, a romantic weekend getaway, whether it's an extended family trip, um, no matter what it is, I want you to put a specific target down and then figure out what the arrows is, how you're, what they want to do with that. Okay. So. The next thing I want you to pay attention to is this top right here. So the column, the first column, we're going to get into that, is their current condition. What are the needs, concerns, desires? The feature or attributes, what it is, benefits, what it does, and then the proof. We'll talk about that. But I, what I want you to pay attention to, and this is where most people, when they take the test, this is, this is where they make some mistakes. So whatever your current condition is, it must match exactly, where'd my mouse go? It must match exactly what the feature, the feature attribute must match exactly to what it is that they wanna do. And so, that, 
And so the benefit, what I want you to ask yourself is when you're filling these things out. So when you're taking, so when you're taking your notes, that all go, that all goes in the left hand column. All right. So then you're going to figure out what the feature is, what the benefit is, what does that do? And then the proof is, how can you prove that to them? Because they're going to go, well, okay, uh, you tell me that, but prove it to me. So the key is, one of the things I really want to hammer on here is the feature is what it is. Up at the top, you need to ask yourself, so what? What does that mean to them? What, and then you go, what this means is, boom, and then that's what the benefit is. So that's really, really important that you understand how the top of this form all relates to, to everything that we're doing. Okay, so when you're taking notes, we've we're got an extended family, and we're going to have a reunion. We're going to have some sort of a get-together. And they've decided that they want to take a cruise because of some of these issues. So they want to have a family get-together. They've got some multi-generational issues. Everybody's spread out, which means they're all over the country. So you got to coordinate their travel. They don't know where they want to go. Um, so you can see all of the other issues. And I now I did this about three years ago. So I threw I threw COVID in there. So so this these are all the things in the left hand column that you found out during your interview. Now you're now you are leaving to come back, and now you're going to fill out the rest of this form. So the first thing you're going to do is okay. What is it that I can show them that will make sense to them? So let's just take let's just take line two. So let's say they've got a three or four generation family. They're going to be on a cruise line. They got to have a whole bunch of things to do. So one of the things, one of the specific features. Now remember, features are precise and benefits are specific. So the precise feature that we have might be onboard activities. So the benefit to that would be, we go to the next column, it lets everybody spread out. So there's a whole bunch of things to do on the ship. There's a whole bunch of things to do on shore activities. So this is where, this is where everybody, so the benefit is, specific, so the feature is precise. The benefit is very specific to the feature and it must match exactly. So you'll notice this, this, and this all match each other. So now we're going, okay, so how does, what does that mean to me? Let's everybody spread out. Now, how do you prove that? And I wanna make one note here that's gonna show up on the test and it's not in the manual. You must have a proof for every single feature and benefit that you have. You may not use it, but you're required to have it just in case it comes up. So, I mean, some things are real obvious, like the travel insurance policies and all that other stuff that you don't need to get bogged down in the details with. But some of the things like what we're talking about here, so you can show them uh, ship's photos, the activities book, Probably the best thing to do would be every cruise line, every morning under your door, they slip the day's, the, the day's activities, and it's all listed right there for whatever whatever's going on on the ship that day. So if you have one of the things you could do if you ever go on a cruise is to save those and bring them back and use them as proofs as to what goes on on the ship. Or if you have one of these where somebody's actually taken a multi-generational trip, have them save them. In fact, one of the ways you can do on one of the really cool follow-up ways, especially if you've done something like this, is you say, hey, now look, I want you to do me a favor. When you go out on your trip, I want you to save all of your daily activities that the ship prints out because, because when you come home, I want to sit over some coffee and talk to you about your trip. I want to see those because I can use this and your recommendations for my other clients. So now you're drawing your client in to helping you sell more travel and they feel appreciated because you, you trust them to do that. And, and, and you so it's another way of letting you know that you are appreciating what they do. So this is just one way to do that. 
But this, so you're going to follow these same steps for every single one of the items that you found out, that you found out. Now, next week, we're going to show you, now that you've got this all organized in your folders or portfolios or however you're going to present it, next week, we're going to show you the specific steps to, to, to take that where you go out and you show them exactly what you found out and you've met, you're going to show them how every one of their needs and concerns you have met because you have done this. This is a really, really valuable form and, and don't sell this short, print out a bunch of these. And what I would like you to do on your homework, you can see down here at the bottom, I've listed a, um, four or five different things that you can do. And the thing down at the bottom, remember, you have two functions with evolution. Well, you, you have two stated functions. One, you, some you might do, some you might not. But you have you have two two ways to make money. First way is to sell travel, earn commissions. Second way is to recruit more people for your line, for your team, because you make commissions off of what they sell as well. Just like somebody above you in the line in evolution is making a little bit of money off of what you sell. So the next page on page 26 is, um, so the, the target is downline recruiting and the specific, the specific arrow is evolution travel. And again, you're talking to somebody about evolution and you've got this little form in front of you and you find out, you know, what is it that some of the things that they're looking for? And one of the things, especially because I know a lot of you don't come from a sales background. So one of your thing, one of, one of your questions is, well, I don't know how to sell. How am I going to do this? So you can go, well, Archer Travel's got sales training. It's a step-by-step -step process for learning how to sell. And it's the sale and the proof, you just pull out the sales training manual and show them. Now that, that involves me. However, you are all aware that every business development manager for every single vendor that you have has their own training videos. I'm teaching you how, how to sell um, in general. The BDMs are telling you, are showing you how to sell their specific uh, packages. So, so the, that's one of the big fears. They don't know how to sell. If you remember back in lesson one, we, uh, one of the things that I was talking to you about is what motivates you to want to do this? It, because I always thought of myself, I always thought sales was like a used car salesman. Well, it's not. It's a whole bunch of different things. Because remember, look around you just in your home office. Everything that you see in your room was sold to somebody by somebody. So sales is the way of the world. And that's why it's a relationship business. And that's why you have to get out in front of people. My mentor told me when I first started in yearbook sales, he says, the only way to succeed in selling is to wear out car tires and shoe leather. And what he meant was you've got to get out and you've got to call on schools and you got to get face to face in front of people. It's no different in the travel business. So, but when I started in 1984, we didn't have internet. We didn't have FaceTime. We didn't have any of that stuff. The only way I could get out and meet people was, was get out and go call on the schools and go see them. You have a whole bunch of other ways to do that. But the principles, as long as you can get in front of them, like I'm in front of you today, talking with you. This is not my preferred way of selling, of teaching, by the way. I am very much an in-your-face get you in front, ask questions, answer questions, and get, I'm a relationship guy. Sales is a relationship business. I don't have much a relationship with you as much as I would like to, um, but this is the only format we have in order to do that. So I want you to just take this all to heart and, and incorporate this into the into your behavioral style and how you like to do business. So we have gone now we have gone from getting to know you, asking questions, a little bit of a break, make your presentation. And then next week, we're going to combine um, lessons seven and eight into 
actually making your presentation. And then what happens when you get a stall or an objection? How do you resolve that and move forward? So that's going to take that's going to take the next two. So this session really is fairly quick. There's not a lot to it as far as my training goes, but this is the key. This whole session is the key to the transition between you gathering information and you making a presentation that you know they will listen to. So now the Archer, the, the client's travel needs checklist this was developed um, by Jose and, and Ron and maybe Reggie. I don't know where this came from, but this is one of the first things that you see. And if you, if you pay attention to um, Jose's morning briefings, he talks about this when he's talking about, when he's introducing, uh, he's got a little segment that he mentions me on every one of these broadcasts. And he's one of the things that he always brings up is, People send out these clients' travel checklists via emails that fill it out and get it back to me. And he keeps telling you, don't do that because they may or they may not. This is another tool. And what I would do if I were you, because remember, this whole process does not work other than face-to-face. -face. It just doesn't. Emails don't cut it. Um, TikTok doesn't cut it. Facebook doesn't cut it. You've got to get in front of them in some form, whether it's person to person, maybe a telephone call would suffice. Uh, Zoom calls and FaceTime certainly are beneficial. So this, so I would have our form and this form printed out, ready to go, where you can talk to people. Now, the other way you can use this is these are very specific travel questions that you can ask and make notes on. So just make notes right up in here, where and why. I, well, I wanna go to, uh, Ron calls me up and he has just talked my wife, Mary and I into a trip uh, right after Thanksgiving. And we're gonna go from Miami to LA through the Panama Canal. Never been there, always wanted to do it. So that just answered the where and the why. We're going, why? Because we've never done it. We wanted to see it. Who will be traveling? When? So now you've got all this information. You know what I want to do. Now you can do all this information. And these are specific questions you can ask to fill out the general form that we have created for you. So I'm hoping you can see how all of these things work together. But again, these are, and these, again, these are very specific travel questions that Reggie, uh, Reggie, that Jose will bring up or that you can bring up when you're talking to people. So I can't stress strongly enough. I'm pounding this into you guys. I'm just going to pound this until, until I turn blue in the face. You've got to get in front of people in some form or another. And this is, and this is the key because now, because as you're doing this, I guarantee you, if you do this correctly, you are going to get so excited. You can't wait to get back and get in front of those people to tell them what you found and how excited you are for a trip you've planned for them. And your excitement is going to get them excited. And that's what this is all about. So um, I hope this lesson helps you. Next week is the last week. And then I will give you instructions on um, if you're interested in the becoming an Archer Travel Sales Professional, I will give you the instructions of what to do. And essentially, it's taking, it's taking a 40-question test. There's five questions in each lesson. You just answer those and send them back. It's an open book test. Um, I don't expect you to memorize everything over the last seven weeks. So that's it for today. This is a brief lesson. I hope it helped you. Uh, Amanda, does anybody have any questions? We got, we've got, we got some, some time here. Amanda, wonderful person, where are you? Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm finished. Do we have any questions? Uh, I said, where can we find this checklist? You can find it on the Travel Cafe website. Um, and you can find it on the resources tab. And then you'll see checklists. You can also find it in the media library as well. Um, 
this checklist is a great tool. Um, you do not send it to clients. You ask them these questions personally, right, Mike? And then you can fill it in yourself. It's not something that you send for them to fill out. It's more of a guide for you guys. Right. Um, and so is this only for English? Yes, um, we only have this training in English. Um at the moment, of course, if you um, want to try to translate the materials in Spanish, you can totally go for it. But um, we, we're we only, uh, Mike and I, well, Mike only speaks English. So when he gives you the test, it's going to be in English. It's going to be in English. But I do believe there's some Spanish translation uh, software out there. Yeah, you can totally, if you can translate <laughs> it, you can totally translate it and do it. And then um, you could definitely, when Mike sends you over the exam, you could probably translate that as well into Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, that's that's all we have today, Mike. We don't have any more questions than that. Nobody's question. Okay. Well, guys, have a great week. Um, like I said, do some homework on this. Get comfortable with those two forms and how they interact with each other. And as always, if you have any questions, give me a call, 206-979-4249 or mike at archertravel.com. Oh, also, we did have a question come in actually last second. How many times can we try and pass the exam? As many times as it takes. Unlimited. So. Unlimited. So what um, I take a look at it, you, there's an 80% threshold to pass. So you need to get uh, 32 out of the 40 questions right. And then when I'm grading the test, I always put notes on there. And if you didn't pass, I will send you back an email with the questions you missed uh, and where you can concentrate to try to pass. Now, because if somebody takes it, does it twice, and um, and fails two times, I will send you both tests back with my notes so you can see exactly where to look. So when you send it to the, me the third time, you will get a certificate. Anybody that's that persistent deserves it. So. Okay, we did have some more questions come in chat. So okay. um, where can we find the PDF? You can find that, go to your login to your My Evolution Travel Back Office. You click on the Travel Cafe tab. Once you're on the Travel Cafe, you click Trainings. Then you'll find Mike Archer's sales training there and you'll find his PDF that you can download. That's where that first um, PDF we were talking about is at. So. Yeah, it says... It says, the PDF says sales training manual. Yeah. On the Travel Cafe website, it says download the PDF in big. And oh, it's gotcha. across okay. the whole screen. So ah, okay. <laughs> you, you, you'll be okay. able to find it if you All just right. go there. Um, I, can't, I can't get into the Travel Cafe because I'm not allowed to be an evolution agent. Yeah, he's, he, he's not an active evolution agent, so he can't go I, on there. <laughs> I'm an archer. I'm an archer. I can't be an Evo agent. Um, where is the test located? Uh, it's... I, I send it to you. Okay, perfect. And so you have to, yeah, you have to request it and then I send it to you. And they request it by email, correct? Correct. Mike at archertravel.com. Um, and that's once you complete all the trainings and you can ask for the exam. So once you watch all of the trainings, then you can email Mike. Right. Perfect. Um, Oh, that's pretty. I don't see any more questions. I'm sure there's some might come in after I say that. So if we miss your question today, guys, or you come up with something after, email Mike, mike at archertravel.com, or give him a call. He's here to help you guys. He wants to help you guys be successful, and he's so happy to do so. He's a great guy, and he'll definitely help you. So reach out oh, to gosh. him. Oh, gosh. I'm blushing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'll see you next week for the final session, and then hopefully you'll all want to take the test and be uh, Archer Travel Sales Professionals. So thanks. I'll see you all next week. Bye.